Kerry and I am in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour on a 60 by uh, 30 canvas and uh, I'm going to do some s'mores, s'mores, colourful s'mores, but I'm going to, I think, split my canvas up. What do you think? Do a split pour, maybe. Maybe I will do this kind of composition so it's split up in this way like a nice big V so this is just my white with my normal pouring medium you see in the drop down box how I make it and should I do hmm just thinking just thinking um maybe I will do a um, let me think, what should I do? I might try doing a purple. So this is one that I've had mixed up in my container for quite a while. So I just need to check to see if the consistency is right or I may need to add some water. Oh yes, I'll just add a little bit of water to this particular paint just to thin it down enough to be able to use it in this particular pour I want so this is I mean this must have been mixed up now at least two months but it will be absolutely fine to use so we'll give it a go and a good shake so yes you can use paints that you've pre-mixed as long as they've been in an airtight container I find perfectly okay to to reuse it's fine i'll reuse that bottle again because those bottles if you buy this size bottle with a lid with a squirty duver on the end they can cost you four or five dollars just for the bottle so i'm going to just give that a gentle spread not too much because i will um end up blowing it out I think so just I don't think I've done this particular colour or composition like this with white I've got a bit on there but that's absolutely fine it'll end up just blowing over the canvas anyway so I've got to wipe me this is an offset spatula it's one of my favourite tools along with many I just give the paint a bit of a spread out I mean lots of people blow their paint out to start with over the canvas I just find it a lot easier and more controlled if, if you use your spatula so oh I'm looking forward to this color combo that I've got going here so I've got radio let's get into this I've got the gorgeous pear which is a global color and I'm going to do sort of um, I call them s'mores. They're my little s'mores. I'm not even quite sure what a s'more is. <laughs> so I hear it said often. Um, I think it's something to eat or something that looks delicious. And I'm thinking this is going to look delicious. So why not it be a s'more? A s'more with more. Now, this is the warm red here. So I'll put a warm red in there. Oh, I think this is going to be a goodie. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh. Add a little bit up there. Oops, oops, oops. Radio. And then I'm going to add some of the purple, maybe in the white more so. I can blow that into the white. This is, um, that one, the first one I've put on here is more uh, violet and this is more the darker tone of purple, so. Radio. And then I might add the pear to the purple. I think that will work really well. Oh, 
but it kind of stops sometimes and think about you know when you come to blow it out like just slow yourself down this paint's a little bit thick this this is the cool blue so I might just actually run some of the cool blue around like so Radio. I think I've probably got more than enough colour in there. I mean, I love colour and I think you can never have too much of a good thing, but I think this will work pretty fine as it is. I'm just going to put a little bit of white in each small, small with more. So excellent if you want to get some Christmas presents uh, to give is to do your artwork for them. What better than a hand, handmade gift, I think. Just going to go over with the heat wand. Radio. And get everything out of the way because I just cover everything in paint if I don't. So, so, move my gear. Right, you know, let's get going now. Just take it slow when you're doing your blow with whatever hair dryer you're using. Just take it slow. Slow yourself down because you can kind of get, well, I certainly do get too carried away with it all. And then go. Wait! Oh my goodness, that's a beauty. Um, okay. Wow! 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 Gone completely Sally, that's strange. That is gorgeous, but it's gone completely Sally, which is fine if that's what you wanted. But I didn't actually think that I was going to get any cells in this. The only thing I think that could have had a little bit of flow trot, certainly has no, 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 no um, silicone, but the only thing I may have put a bit of flow troll is the purple, but it has certainly gone an absolute uh, carnival, carnival of colour, and it's actually celled up. But what I want to do is just add my bit of, I've got to jillify it. If you like it to this stage and you want to do it to this stage, go for it. But let's jillify it, I say. Now that's took out the white in it, but that's no worries because I will add and take away colour. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. So don't worry if when you first do your balloon kiss because you can always kiss somewhere else where there's lots of colour. Go back in where you want to re-kiss it. And the balloon is an excellent tool for actually taking a lot of paint out of areas that's quite chunky. And sometimes it doesn't even look like you've done a balloon kiss when, it dry, when it's dried. It's just given it a lovely floaty dreamy effect which is what I love. So, I might use it. Oh, this is so lovely, lovely lace here. How could you not like that? I'm just wiping my balloon in between every kiss just so I don't carry any muddy paint. You know, muddy up the paint, should I say. Let's give that blob a kiss 
going to kiss the blobs and kiss the frogs. It certainly kissed a lot of them in my lifetime. But that's a whole nother story. Radio. I think that is stupendous. I just need to finish off my edges. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really happy with that. Really happy. And I could just go along and over kiss it like I normally do, but they always seem to go quickly. So who cares when you're enjoying what you do? I kind of got some dendrites around there, so there must have been something in my white and purple. I think that I've added Floetrol, but I also think, because recently, where is it gone? I've been adding some of the gloss, medium and varnish to some of my pores because it leaves the painting to dry quite glossy. So it may be a bit of that that's given this wonderful effect. I know I got beautiful pearl effects from that paint without even trying in a previous pour during the week. So this smaller balloon, I just come in and it give me a little bit more detail in there, if you so wish. So have fun, do it your way. Remember your art, your rules, your way. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna take advantage of those dendrite looking things and try and create a flower in it. Oh, wow. Walk away, Jilly. Walk away. I just love doing this so much, so that's that's me done. I'm done and dusted. I'm just going to finish off round my edges and then finger pop the edges and then I'll be absolutely perfect. Wait on for the end and see the photos on my wall app so you can see what uh, your painting can look like on a, a wall or um, if you have prints and have the prints enlarged to any uh, size you like so you can have really large prints as long as you take a really good high definition photo. Well I hope you enjoyed that completely different colour uh, combo and that that particular composition okay my lovelies please take care of yourself don't forget if you're feeling sad lonely upset please ring a family member or a friend do not suffer in silence if the those are not available please ring a helpline okie doke bye for now